before we start, we want to give Lightner Creek Campground a thumbs up because they did a very good job. Yes, they did. They did an awesome job. They were so welcoming. We didn't get a chance to see it, but even on their website, they said the casitas are coming mm -hmm. and they just... They were really welcoming and they okay. did a lot, I think, to make us feel welcome and yes. be a part of the campground. And letting us use their pavilion and stuff for our get together and uh, escorting us up to the pavilion because yeah. it was actually up on uh, a hill and quite a steep hill mm -hmm. and I don't think a lot of our participants would have been able to <laughs> yeah. make it up the hill otherwise. So, you know, if you ever have a chance and you're in the area, go check out Lightner Campground. Yes, Lightner it's, Creek it's, Campground. It's a really nice facility. Very picturesque. Yeah, we're surrounded by mountains and mm -hmm. you know forests and it, it was just nice. Yes. Well, we want to give our final thoughts about the Casita mm -hmm. gathering. Yes. My final thought was as a young couple, me and my wife, we felt really welcome. We didn't feel out of place and that was important, you know, because we know that there's a lot of older folks that, you know, might just look... Judge, the they might yeah, be judgmental yeah. against us or and something like that. And we know there's a lot of older people who use casitas. A lot of younger mm -hmm. couples don't use casitas nowadays because they're so small and they have families and everything mm -hmm. but we do and we full-time in ours so I I agree I felt very yeah, welcomed yep. at the casita gathering mm -hmm. and uh, I really enjoyed meeting all of yeah all they of the were people all there. nice that we talked to and they were wonderful people mm -hmm. everybody there and I just want to give a special shout out to Nolan and Allie for putting a good get together yes a good get together thank you for your hard work and yes you know, thank you guys. i applaud you guys for doing such a good job uh-huh and maybe and what we we want to discuss what we could approve on you just to help you guys out is my take would be more group activity maybe like a group activity to the train ride you know not everybody's going to be able to afford it, but, you know, everybody jump on the train. And the oh. thing is, is usually if you look ahead a little bit, if you do groups, a lot of mm. times they'll give you a little bit of a discount. Yeah. If you have people sign up for it. Yeah. So. Or maybe like zip lining, maybe, you know, mm -hmm. or a group hike, maybe group talent show group. a group outing like they yeah. had the taste of durango yeah. while we were there and a group outing to go yeah. see what that's about and like everything. so the last meal we had together that wasn't posted and a, a few other people was like oh i didn't know about it or else i would have went that would have you know. and we didn't learn about it until about yeah. 30 minutes beforehand and some yeah. some people didn't go because they had already eaten yeah or they just didn't know about it so that's where communication that's yes and i think that's one of the things that we could really improve on with this get together too is communication one thing i was thinking about suggesting was having like a social media moderator yeah we mm -hmm. have a page set up and a person not just that host but several other people can help answer questions Mm -hmm. um, if there's any questions on the page and post things and help the hosts I know it's, with information I know and everything on the page. Second time doing it, but I believe if you guys keep it up, I believe it could be a very successful mm -hmm. endeavor. Uh, and endeavor. Endeavor. <laughs> endeavor. <laughs> endeavor for mm -hmm. the Casita family because we learned a lot from Mod. Especially mm -hmm. Nolan, who has a ton of mods. Yes, and and some of that stuff we're going to use on ours. Mm -hmm. And another thing with communication that I I was thinking would be beneficial too is how Lightner had the coffee free mm -hmm. coffee in the morning. Yeah. Maybe since we had our own tent, maybe as a group we pitch in and we have coffee every morning and we have like. Even if it's just a discussion, a group what, discussion of what's like, going on that day, or a whiteboard that's just hanging up there, yeah. so people can see yeah, what the here, agenda yeah. is for the day. Yeah, or something like time like frame, like hey, mm -hmm. from two to four, we're doing this. If anybody want to participate, 
Mm -hmm. That would be, you know. And that's really our main take on the whole event. Yep. And I believe, I believe it could be something really special that the Gasita owners and group and people could really enjoy being a part of because we, for our first time, we enjoyed it. It was, you know, it was a, it was different. It, and, it was, and and I, I'm glad that we chose that one to be our first yeah. one. Yeah. So, well, we just want to thank everybody who we talked to, who yes. ran into, who helped us out, or who shared the love. And uh, thank you, Russ, for you know, you know what you did. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and um, just thank everybody for their participation in our videos mm -hmm. and. We just hopefully we'll see you guys next year. So we're, yeah. or, or if we don't see you next year, hopefully we see you on the road. Yeah, on the road. <laughs> we'll be in Yellowstone if y'all want to catch up. Anybody and can come and visit, visit us at Yellowstone this summer. Yes. <laughs> so, well, we're going to sign out and go have dinner finally. Hopefully they call our day. Our number soon. Yeah. If you love our video, share the love. Hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It would help us a lot. And please leave a comment down below. And thank you, thank you, and thank you. This is Ace. And Amanda. Reminding you. To keep soaring. To, to the, the end. end. Out. Out.